welcome back everybody so a little bit of an update on the nissan skyline drift car build i'm doing back using the tamiya scribing tool again tonight um basically working on getting this front end off uh the front wings are different between the four door and the two door so it was essential to get these off unfortunately um I didn't really want to be cutting this much of the body apart, but it is what it is, and I've had to do it. So I've cut the wings off slowly. As you can see, the scribing tool having a few issues with the uh, body mouldings on this bit. So I started doing the section above that to start with. Then I moved into the lower section of the door and the wing. Um, from there, I started doing the bonnet, and the bonnet's different on both of them as well. So we had to do that. I'm going to let it make some noise for a moment. You can hear it all scribing through and we'll go from there. So here you can see, I'm just trying to show you guys the scribing lines from the inside where it's just sort of just breaking through where you know you're pretty much there. Uh, moving on to the little section on the A-pillar, these were fiddly as hell. Um, tiny little lines to try and follow. Um, and I had to do this twice, unfortunately. I did not enjoy it. <clears throat> but doing this bit here, I managed to then uh, break through the tiny little edges and then slowly but surely got through all the last little bits. I realised I was trying to save the side skirt on the uh, four-door so that I had a good reference for where the front wing should finish. And uh, then realised, oh, hang on, I've got to cut that. So, as you can see, I'm scribing that bit now. And then we've got that side pretty much finished, using a bit more force on it there. Once I'd already started to cut the groove into it, I could use a bit more force with the scribing tool. And then that then, hopefully, as I, I can't remember how far on it was, I think I went through it again with a knife just to sort of free up some of the edges that hadn't fully gone through. There you go. And then it all started to free up a little bit nicely. And eventually, that wing was disconnected from the side of the car. And because I'd taken the top corner off the wing as well, it then removed the bonnet with, me, with it at the same time. There you go. So, once it was fully off, we're left with side skirts and doors, and then the Tamiya uh, GTR front end to try and line up. Now, when I originally cut the old body that I was donated, I didn't really know how much of it I needed or how little of it I needed. Um, so when I've tried to mate it up, I'm like, okay, I need to work this bit in, that bit in. And here you can see me cleaning up the edges on the body because there was a few bits of... Uh, excess plastic left over it just trimming those back with a knife i think i'll go over them with a file in a few places as well um just where it wasn't a clean cut on some of the bits uh the front panel when i put that in place in a moment you'll see didn't line up properly at all and i realized it was because i'd left the side skirt section on the front wings so with that i then uh, cut those off using my tamiya snips and uh yeah they came out it, it, it ends up getting there but as you can see it's uh it's a time consuming process this and i'm still learning myself so this is all new to me i don't know if i'm doing it right if i'm doing it wrong i hope i'm doing it right because otherwise i'm gonna have some trouble in the future with it um there's gonna be some extra large body lines for the moment but we will make sure that we get the uh get the body lines tidied up on it so here you can see I'm starting work on this and I went, oh yeah, I need to cut that bit off because that's the side skirt off the two door, which then obviously is fouling the side skirt on the four door. So a quick trim on there, not that you can see it. I move it down, there you go. And we were trying to basically line up the body lines. The the door door shuts and uh, wing shuts are slightly different from one model to the other. To the other. But a little bit of filing, a little bit of sanding. We got it so it was the right shape throughout. And as you can see there, looking good. Um, I did get it fully mated up by the end of this video. So if you want to see it fitted together, um, only held together with tape at the moment, sadly. But it is definitely getting there. Um, ready to be reinforced from behind. So it's got some kind of support with it. And uh, yeah, a little bit more filing, trying to tidy these edges up. 
I've done this as fast as I can. I don't want to make it ridiculously fast, but at the same time, I don't want you guys being bored watching me filing for hours on end. And uh, yeah, it's starting to line up real nice. The front panel fits nicely with the A pillars. The top of the wings, sorry, fit nicely with the A pillars. They do need a little bit of a filler fill in, so I've I've done a little bit extra with that, which I'll show on the next video. Um, here's me just putting some tape on for a quick mock up, so you guys can see it. And uh, and then it's going to come to the camera when my hands get out of the way. And you can see I've got the body lines pretty much where they need to be. A little bit high in this picture still, but I did sort them before I finalised it. And uh, yeah, we now have a two-door front end and a two-door rear end on a four-door. So yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, I hope this is a bit of a different video for you guys. And uh, yeah, if you did, give me a comment, like, share, subscribe, all of that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.